I'll be honest, like uh, your mileage may vary with the cringe. I personally like your legit life story, where you've come from, the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations, you're a self-made man, what you've been able to accomplish. That is what I think is the most inspiring uh, element of who you are as an individual, who you are as a person, as a professional fighter. I actually wish that that was the story that could get told a little bit more often um, by the UFC and by the promotion. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's kind of the low hanging fruit is the face off the press conference, the interviews, the trash talk on what you're wearing and what you're saying and things of that nature. Yeah, of course, man. 100%, 100%, 100%. But yeah, I mean, this is why I even had it just because of that. You know, was, uh, but exa exactly. You just hit the nail on the head, Sandy. Like everything that you just said, I've been trying you know, in the beginning, I figured it would be more like that, but it doesn't work that way. Yeah. And I've actually learned to, I've actually learned to really love my character because it, because it is part of who I am. I am corny. I do like to razzle feathers. I do love the embracement of, of maybe not being like or taking the risk of doing some crazy and obnoxious shit, so people can be, so people cannot like you. They can, you know, they can root against you. You know, so don't fool yourself either because that is part of who I am. On top of everything you just said, you know, one of seven, uh, one of seven kids, immigrant family came here illegally, won the Olympics. Mom wasn't able to go to, to the Olympics due to her citizenship status. You know, my dad died the year before the Olympics. Uh, me being ranked 31st in the world to become an Olympic champion the year prior. Um, me getting knocked out by Demetrius Johnson, you know, to be able to, you know, do whatever I can to let go of my coaches, travel the world, let my ego down to get better, to come back and actually beat them. You know, to going up to divisions, beating TJ Dillis, Shad Dominic Cruz, and Marlon Marais, to becoming the fourth simultaneous uh, UFC champion in history. I mean, that's really who I. That's really who I am, and you know, I hope people can also see that that other side. But don't fool yourself, dude. I, I am. I am a little spontaneous and goofy and, and cringy and, and all that, but it's it's only for a reason and a purpose, and that's to motivate the sh so I'm not the laughing stock. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. And hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment, give me some feedback, let me know what you think, share the video with your friends, help me blow this whole thing up. And hey, if you really enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more conversations, more interviews, and more amazing video content coming soon.